Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to add the navigation here because right now, if we want to go to the movies, for example, we need to right here, movies, and let's go. Okay. So for that, let's open the flow byte and I'm going to copy the navigation from here. So let's go to the nav bar. And let's copy this, the first we have here, close, open the VS code. And inside the components, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to name it navbar.view. Create the view setup here, V setup. And in the template, let's paste what we have to copy, save. Now go to the app.view import this navbar component we created so let's import that uh, navbar and not navbar view but just navbar and inside here now let's add the navbar cell close this save and if we see now yeah we have the navbar let's make some changes first in the navbar so i'm going to close this Close the files here because it's too large. First, I'm going to remove the logo. And then here I'm going to say uh, view router. Okay. And then we have the UL with the LI and here we have the anchor tag. I'm going to remove, I'm going to leave only one. I'm going to remove the others. And here, we are not going to use the anchor tag because the anchor tag is going to reload the page and we don't need that. We need the, because we have a single page application, we need to go and not reload the page. For that, we are going to use the router link. So let's say here, router link like this, or you can use the router link like this if you like. And here we need to say, router link to the slash to go to the home page because here we need to go to the home page and let me indent like this because the fonts are too big for you and i'm going to do something like this and if i save and let's go and see yeah we have this home and if i click we go to the home now let's add the link for the about and for the movies. Wrote a link to the about. So slash about. Here we need to say about. And the last is for the movies. So let's say slash movies. And here we need to say movies as well. Save. We have home about movies. Let's go to the about. We are, in, we are inside the about. Let's go to the movies. Yeah, we are here. And as you can see, if we go here and navigate back to the movies, let's just inspect the elements, go to the network and slow 3G here. Let's go to the about and now go back to the movies. I have as you can see, it's going to take some time to get the movies because it's going to make the API. For, la for that, let me just close this and open the movies view. And here, I'm going to create a ref. So let's say const, uh, I'm going to say is loading, loading to be a ref and by default is going to be true. Very good. And down there now I'm going to say a div with a class max with a b small mx auto. And here I'm going to add 
uh, a span with a class, let's say, text to Excel. And uh, font bold. And I'm going to add text. Maybe indigo. Indigo. 700 like this and let's say is loading dot 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 okay if i save now and let's see yeah we have this is loading here very good but i don't want to show this is loading all the time i want to show only when we don't have movies so for that i'm going to make this an async function first, let's say async. And now I'm going to create a constant for the result, which is going to be equal with await fetch movies Okay, then I'm going to create also the constant, another constant, and say response which is going to be equal with await and response result.json result.json like this and then let's remove what we have here then I'm going to say the movie list dot value is going to be equal with the response we get and now I'm going to change that is loading dot value to be false okay and right now here I'm going to say I'm going to show this is loading only if this is loading is true and let's say here v if is loading and down there the movies i'm going to show if that is loading is false so let's say v else or we can say v if in the opposite but i'm going to say v else let's save and let's go here as you can see let's go and try again to the about next let's go to the movies we have is loading and then we have the movies everything okay that's it about this video friends we added the navigation and we make async await here and we show that it's loading when we don't have the movies okay friends in the next video now we need to add the link here and when we click the one of the cards we need to go to the specific movie details and display the details of the movie we have clicked. Okay, so see you in the next video. All the best.